For much of the past year, I carried the BlackBerry Key One as my personal smartphone, and people always asked me the same two questions. They still make Blackberries? And isn't it about time you upgraded your phone? Well, the answer to the first one is yes. And today, the answer to the second question is too. I'm Mr. Mobile, and the BlackBerry Key 2 could quite possibly be my next phone if it fixes one of its predecessors' crucial deal breakers. This is your first look at the BlackBerry Key 2, brought to you by Internext. <laughs> Confession time, folks. I love my Key 1, but everything about the Key 2 feels and looks better. It's cleaner, sharper, with the same exact display, but a much sleeker chassis around it, so it feels a lot smaller. At the same time, the thing that makes it a BlackBerry has actually gotten bigger. The physical keys are 20% taller, and frankly, I never found the Key 1 too cramped to begin with. I did have a problem with the older phone's glossy keyboard coating, though, so I'm happy to say that's been replaced with a matte finish. This works together with excellent key travel and click feel to make typing very comfortable on the Key 2. And considering that's most of the reason you'd want to shell out for this phone, that's a very good thing. One button in particular deserves a closer look. See, on the Key 1, you could program any button to open any app or shortcut, but you had to be on the home screen for that to work. Well, this is called the Speed Key, and it fixes that. It lets you use your shortcuts even if you're inside another app, so you can quickly multitask with keystrokes instead of scrolling. Oh, and bonus, I've always thought it ridiculous on a device with so many buttons that none of them could drop the notification shade. Well, there's a new option that lets you assign the currency key to do just that. More on currency in just a second when we talk price. First. Two things I have to touch on since it's 2018, and I can sum them up in five words. No notch, yes headphone jack. More important to me, we've now got all the accessory buttons on the same side of the phone, including the convenience key. Not a Bixby button, not a Google Assistant button, a button you do whatever the heck you want with. I'll probably wind up assigning it to the camera. In keeping with the times, there are two around back. The second one helps with portrait mode, plus it's a 2x optical zoom lens. The Key 1 exceeded expectations in its photos, but this year BlackBerry isn't making as big a deal about the provenance of the camera sensor. So I'll reserve judgment until I can use it in the real world. Okay, time for the potential deal breaker. See, as much as I loved the Key 1, shortly after my review it began to bog down, until it became just dog slow, and even the later higher spec models didn't help matters. Well, that kind of slowdown is intolerable on a device built for getting business done, so I'm really going to be looking very closely at performance when my Key 2 review device comes in. Another concern? The Key 1 never had the brightest screen of the bunch. And with the same panel, the Key 2 isn't going to win any visibility awards either. I am looking forward to seeing whether the new phone lives up to the battery life of its predecessor, though, which was legendary. Finally, we come to the price. How much? I'll make you a deal. If I tell you now, instead of putting the sponsor spot here like a jerk, will you at least try not clicking away as soon as the numbers leave my mouth? I'm going to assume you said yes, because you're very fine people. BlackBerry's MSRP for the Key 2, when it launches later this month, is $649, a hundred bucks more than its predecessor debuted at. Whether the Key 2 is worth that premium will depend on a full review, but to be honest, it's probably going to be my next phone no matter what. See, the Key 1 re-addicted me to something I didn't know I was missing the physical smartphone keyboard. And no matter how much fancy glass I've typed on since, I've yet to get over it a second time. And well, I'm hoping the Key 2 will be good enough that I don't have to. What do I think? I think it's gonna be my next phone. This video is brought to you by xCloud, an incredibly secure storage platform from Internext. 
xCloud is the cloud everyone deserves, a truly private and secure platform with file distribution and end-to-end -end encryption, so no one can access your files. Not nefarious hackers, not governments, not even Internext itself. Sign up for the waitlist now, and you'll be eligible to win over 50 Internext tokens each week until the beta launches later in the third quarter. That's about 500 bucks you could win each week. Sign up for the xCloud beta risk-free at the link in the description below. Let me know what you think about the key too, friends. Sound off in the comments and follow me on Instagram at the Mr. Mobile so you can be the first to see some of the insufferable Blackberry hipster photos I take once I get my review device. Till next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.